Okay, nice students. So on this group, we're going to be deriving the uh, difference identities for our cosine. So um, let's go ahead and write down the task we're going to be accomplishing in this in this clip. Uh, we're going to prove prove that um, cosine alpha minus beta equals cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Okay. So this is the uh, difference identities for cosine. All right, so in order to accomplish this proof, we need two formulas, two key formulas. Uh, the first one uh, is, the, is the distance formula from uh, coordinate geometry, analytic uh, geometry. So the distance formula is basically um, d squared, the distance between two points, x1 and uh, x1, y1, x2, y2, d squared equals x2, minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square okay so that goes the distance formula and the other formula you need is the uh the law of cosines okay you know the law of cosines can be used to compute a distance to law of cosines so the law of cosines for that one we have d square equals um or let's let's just call this little c square Okay, to be consistent with our symbology here. Uh, C square equals A square plus B square minus 2A minus 2AB cosine C. Okay, minus 2AB cosine big C. All right, so there, there you have it. All right, so that, these are the two formulas I'm going to be using to derive my difference identities or to prove this uh, equation. So to get started, all we need to do, first of all, is we need to graph a unit circle, okay? So let's graph uh, a unit circle. A unit circle is a circle with radius 1, all right? So there goes your unit circle right there, make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to pick two points. Okay, but before I pick two points in my unit circle, let me draw my, my x-axis. There goes my y-axis and my x-axis, okay? So I'm going to pick two points on the unit circle. Let's call this point, um, <clears throat> point A. This point right here, let's call it point A. And then I'm going to call, pick another point, point B, okay? We're going to be focusing on calculating the distance between these two points, length A, B, using two different methods, okay? So that's the goal. All right, now since this is a, a unit circle, there are certain things I can create here. So going from the center to, to this first point, point B, we need to create, we need to sustain an angle, okay? So the angle here, this angle, well, uh, we're gonna call this angle uh, beta, okay, we'll call this angle beta. All right, and then how about the radius from the center to point A? We have an angle swept there too. Let's draw that angle. And I'm gonna call this angle right here to beta, I'm gonna call it alpha, okay? So this is beta and this is alpha. Then what is the angle that separates these two points? The angle that separates these two points, the angle from here all the way to here, is simply the difference between alpha and beta, right? So this angle right here is alpha is alpha minus beta. Okay, so this angle is alpha minus beta, the blue angle. Okay, now um, so let's let's uh, find the distance between AB first of all using the law of cosine. Okay, so using the law of cosine. In this case, uh, let's call this point big C, and this will be little c, and this side right here will be little a, and this side right here will be little b, okay? So we already, already showed you the formula before, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine big C, okay? So this is a unit circle, what do you think a and b are? They are the radius of the unit circle, which is 1, right? So a equals b equals 1, okay? And then big C is the angle. This angle right here is big C. So big C is alpha minus beta. All right. And then little c is the distance between these two points, which is AB. So when I plug in these three pieces of information, technically four, into this equation, 
I get a b squared equals 1 squared substituting 1 for a, the radius, plus 1 squared substituting 1 for b, minus 2 ab 1 times 1 cosine big C, which is alpha minus beta. Okay? All right, let's simplify this a little bit more. We're going to get uh, ab squared equals 1 plus 1, because 1 squared and 1 squared 1, minus 2 times 1 times 1 is 2, cosine alpha minus beta. All right? Simplify a little bit more. We have ab squared equals 2 minus 2 cosine alpha minus beta. All right? We're going to stop here. And let's box this equation. We're going to call this equation uh, equation number one. Okay, this is equation number one. All right, so let's leave this alone. I'm going to come back to it in a minute. Now, let's shift our attention to using the um, distance formula. Okay, so in order to use the distance formula, we need two points, right? So let's see, let's graph our points. Uh, so this is a unit circle. We know that the coordinates of this point are so, you know, um, x is basically r cosine uh, theta and y is r sine theta using a uh, right triangle tree. But since r is 1 here, that means that we don't, know that we don't need to multiply, we just need to multiply the angle, cosine or sine of the angle by 1, okay? So the coordinates of this point will now be r cosine theta is going to be, since this angle is alpha, I mean, sorry, it's beta, this point is going to be 1 cosine beta for the x and then 1 sine beta for the y. I need not put the 1 there because it's a multiplicative identity, so just cosine beta and cosine and sine beta for the unit circle. Okay? And then uh, for this point, the angle is alpha here, so this the coordinates of this point is going to be uh, cos 1 cosine alpha for the x and then 1 sine alpha for the y. All right, so there goes the coordinates for the two points. Now, to use the unit circle, I mean the distance formula, I'm going to call this x2, y2, and at this point, x1, y1, okay? And c is basically the distance v that we're looking for. To refresh your memory, let's write down the distance formula again. v squared equals x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, okay? We see x1, y1, x2, y2. Um, x1, x2, y1, y2, we're going to plug them in here and then replace d with ab because that's what c is, all right? So let's go ahead and make the substitution. We're going to have ab squared, okay, uh, equals x2 minus x1 is going to be cosine alpha minus cosine beta squared, and then y2 minus y1 is going to be uh, sine alpha minus sine beta square. Okay? Now, using the formula for a difference of squares, remember if you have a square, I mean, if you have a difference of squares, the expansion of a square, I mean, the square of a difference, a minus b square is simply a square minus 2ab plus b square. I just want to save time. Uh, if you follow this out, it's going to be this anyway. So I'm going to use this formulation to get my expansion here. So to save time, we need to work smart here. So we have AB square equals, I'll find this formula here, this being A and this being B. The extended form of this expression will be cosine square alpha minus 2 cosine alpha cosine beta plus uh, cosine square beta. Okay. I'm going to square this and put it, line it up right down here. Okay, so if I square, do the same first process here, I'll have plus sine square alpha minus 2 sine alpha sine beta plus sine square beta. Okay, the bottom line is by expanding this, and the top one is by expanding that. All right, upon doing the, ex now I'm going to combine like terms. Well, actually, they're not like terms to be combined. I'm just going to line them next to each other, okay? It's going to be pretty long. So we're going to have <clears throat> cosine square alpha 
plus sine squared alpha, lining up these two, minus two cosine alpha cosine beta, minus two sine alpha sine beta, plus cosine squared beta, plus sine squared beta. Okay? Now I notice if I group these together and group these together, what do I get? These are the Pythagorean identities. I know that, side note, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. These are my Pythagorean identities, right? So those two uh, uh, terms can be, expressions can be reduced to one. So this becomes, we have AB squared equals one minus uh, and I can also factor out a negative 2 from these two. Factor out a negative 2 from these two. I'll have minus 2. Since I factored out a negative, cosine alpha, cosine beta, this time we change from minus to a plus, plus sine alpha, sine beta. And then that also becomes a 1. Combine these two together, I'll have AB squared equals 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 minus 2, cosine alpha, cosine beta, plus sine alpha sine beta okay all right now uh, I'm gonna box this equation and I'm gonna call this let's box it first I'm gonna call this equation a number two okay all right now I have AB squared here and AB squared here. So if I sub if I substitute the left side, the right side of equation one into the left side of AB squared and equation two. So basically, if I substitute substitute um, two minus two cosine alpha minus beta for AB squared in equation two. What do we get? We get this equation. We get 2 minus 2 cosine alpha minus beta equals 2 minus 2 cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Okay? All right. So let's simplify some more. Um, I can subtract 2 from both sides. Subtract 2, subtract 2. So I get rid of those two 2's. So I have negative 2 cosine alpha minus beta equals negative 2 times cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Okay? And then divide both sides by uh, negative 2 to get rid of that negative on the left side there. So I'll divide both sides by negative 2, left and right. So if I divide by negative 2 here and divide by negative 2 here, I'll end up with cosine alpha minus beta equals cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Guess what? This is the difference identity for cosine. Okay? So that basically uh, completes our, our little proof here. Okay, so, so there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Uh, if you like this video, you can click like. And please post a comment. Tell me what you think about this uh, derivation. More videos can be found on map.serve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.